that they're paid by a con. And they'll say, is Vinny on camera? I don't see him. I see him. There he is. Yeah, I don't. He's there. Okay. Eddie no. here wants to know our reaction to Drunk Cody and Drunk Jay, my new favorite duo. I did oh, see a I clip did... of Jay, and he was making lots of noises. I'm not sure any of them were actually words, at least in the English language. Uh, I enjoyed Corey Graves calling Rhea Ripley a succubus. That's a great line. <laughs> what are you going to do with Carlito? Maybe he can challenge Roman. I mean, no. <laughs> He's not going to challenge Roman. Okay? Yeah, he'll challenge, maybe he'll challenge Gunther. No. Oh. I mean, I, they may build I got, up. I got all getting... kinds of terrible ideas. Now he's at the point where he doesn't just play the hits, but he plays the hits with the volume turned up to 20. <laughs> so when he notices that the guy is down for the five knuckle shuffle, he has to stand as tall as possible and look at the and look the other way and the other way and then ra- and like he does everything like an animated version of John Cena. And the people eat it up. John Cena shouting out spots in full sentences at the top of his lungs will never not make me laugh. That's his, that's his gift. We're going to do a desperation tag spot. Cut me off before I get there. The best was when he took that, that bump off the, the thing in the crowd onto the trampoline. They tried to make it clever by setting up a hard cam so you nope. couldn't actually see what he landed on. But you could see him bounce. And he bounced, 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 bounced. I thought the match was, was by WWE last man standing matches, which usually bore me half to death. I think Edge is probably still angry about that review of that WrestleMania match. But anyway, this was better. Kyle Fletcher did a suicide dive that is so-called because he very nearly lost his life. God, that Kyle Fletcher thing was scary, but it was nothing. Nothing compared to the bump that Metallic first took on Arana, and then that fucking Juice Robinson finish that he took. (laughs) I watched that countless times, trying to figure out how did he not die? Uh, Watch this again. Like, look at this. Look. Oh, my fucking God. That's not ideal. Jesus. You have Max Caster on Wednesday was giving MGF unwelcome physical groping. Daddy Ass was calling himself Mr. Ass for decades now. And then you have the Iron Savages. All these men want to do, in their own words, is eat their opponent's asses. Anthony Bones is the straightest guy in this match. Tony Storm also ate ass. What's going on here? They mistimed the I'm ready for my close-up shot. They, they, they cut to her first in a close-up, and then she said she was ready for it. Sky Blue has a very... Um, Thick. Thank you. Uh, backside, of course, Tony's the same way. So they had to one-up that somehow. Kira Hogan, well, she fits the bill. Kira's running wild, and Tony cuts her off by eating her ass. This is the kinkiest wrestling show I've seen in a long, long time. Craig is not here today. So replacing him is our old friend Lance Storm. Just enjoying Granny's t-shirt selection. It's one of my WCW shirts. Oh, it is a Lance WCW shirt. I believe they only made three of the white ones. God, you know how much that thing's worth, Granny? Probably like 30 bucks. (laughs) It's pretty snug, though. (laughs) Well, (laughs) so is Lance. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've heard. So Sean knows me well, of course, and uh, he got me a gift basket that included uh, it, 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 candy bars, breakfast cereal, and scotch. Wow. Uh, it also included Is this. He trying to kill you? Oh, my God. A brother love doll. It's a special birthday. Happy birthday, Vinny V. Can I get a B? And he wants to know what inspired the B quote. 15 years ago? What was that luchador's name? Ray Tigre. <laughs> Ray Tigre. was a luchador yeah. who made that noise v! <laughs> with every single spot he did. Yeah. When he hit a move, he went, me! And I began to imitate him. And when they chopped him, he went, me! Yeah. And people thought it was something, just something that I did. Like, I walk around the house making that noise to myself. I never knew that. Ray there Tigre. was like nine people listening. <laughs> I spelled vicious. V-I-S-O-U-S-E. That's wrong. That's Vesaus. Hayes versus Dragunov. Yeah. This is going to be very, very short. Dragunov ha- has his hair hanging over his eyes. That's what he got it? out of this match? <laughs> I gave that a 12 on the granny scale. Why? His hair was in his face. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what about we get you a, a pen recorder for your birthday? Brian, I got one. Just nobody knows how to hook it up. So you don't have one. You have one that needs to be hooked up. 
it works as a pen, though. I know. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll help you hook that up. <laughs> That's the biggest joke I ever heard. <laughs> you are the worst grandmother. Oh my God. <laughs> God. She just cackled at you. Is she drinking that? <laughs> no, she's putting her teeth in or something. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Chris Rock makes his appearance. NWA TNA is the best wrestling in the whole world. If you think it's fake, come in here and get your ass kicked. And he just leaves. I think this is Sonny's side of the story, so I don't know what actually happened. But apparently, like, Loki sat in a chair that she had been sitting in. And, and she said, I want my chair back. And he said, no. And she was like, give me my fucking chair back. And then he said something like, you will respect Loki. <laughs> and she got really pissed off. And apparently they almost had a pull apart. AW and NXT. They were head to head on Tuesday. I'm mm -hmm. not sure if you guys are aware of this or not. Yes. The winner of the head to head battle was NXT. Which I don't think was a surprise to anybody. So there was a lot of madness over the last couple of days. I mean, the fact of the matter is, AEW should not fold. There's nothing to be sad about drawing a .26 in an 18-49 on a Tuesday night head-to-head -head with NXT and John Cena and The Undertaker. Now, the other thing that I want to address is the Tony Khan tweets. He does believe that there is a method to his madness. His theory is that when he tweets things like this one million deal, it gets like five, six million impressions. And then he immediately tweets out matches for upcoming shows. And his belief is that the, is incendiary the right word? The incendiary tweet results in a whole bunch of people going on his Twitter, and then they see the announcements for the upcoming matches. Yes. He believes that for, for business purposes, like this is going to, to help increase viewership for these shows. Will it? I don't know. This is why he is doing it. Uh, he's not just going on there to just be a maniac. Which, uh, you know, some people look at it and think that he's just a maniac. What an awesome wrestling match this was. Can they wrestle every week? I, I, I've, I mean, we, we'll, we'll talk about the finish and what we, we talked well, about. that's it the problem. I don't want him wrestling in. every week if Swerve's just going to be out there losing every week. Yeah. The business needs more people like Chris Jericho. Because we have talked about this for three decades now. The idea of putting somebody over... And how most people who claim to put people over don't actually put people over. They fake put people over. Powerhouse Hobbs was the better man. And he massacred an all-time legend and pinned him with his knee on his fucking face. Hanging on the couch and Adam asks what's up with the giraffe. It's Rick Strong, the giraffe. The giraffe is the most neck strongest animal in the kingdom, they say. He regains the international title, still doesn't look very happy about it. He's just staring at his belt as he walks away. And then reveals that, yes, he has a roll of quarters where he has li literally written Friedman's name across it. And Max freaks out, threatens to literally kill him, storms off. And uh, I don't have much to say about this. That has not already been said. The timing, you know, it, it was going to be a, a of questionable taste anyway as soon as it happened, but... Uh, this week of all weeks, there's a lot going on in the world. And for those of you wondering, this is 100% MJF's idea. This is not something that was, you know, suggested to him and maybe he did or did. I mean, this is his, this is his deal. The timing is what, to me, uh, created all of the heat with all of these, you know, everybody upset about this. There was a story about TMZ, you know, it's, it's the wrong time to do this angle. I cannot for the life of me figure out why Hikaru Shida won. I mean, they've been doing the Soraya tony Storm feud for a while now, and that seemed like the natural match, especially with Tony getting the big push. It was 100% a SmackDown main event on Dynamite. But because it was a good match that was also different than anything else in the show, it got a huge reaction. And because Adam Copeland is a megastar. That's also part of it. For a lot of people, and it's clearly an important business show, and for a lot of people, it's very, very personal. And when the first guy who comes out on NXT against AEW is Cody Rhodes, I laughed so hard. <laughs> that made it very personal. And they made the point that Asuka remains undefeated. She has never, ever lost a match in NXT. That's true, yes. So them saying that tells me that at some point down the road, someone is going to beat Asuka.
I was I was wildly entertained. Okay. It wasn't like it was like a great match or anything no. like that. It's Ilya Dragunov versus Dom with LA Knight fully in character as the fucking referee. Yeah. It's like this was ridiculous. And Trick says, When did you know it was your time? And Cena says, Let's talk. And he pulls Trick away. She said, When it was now. <laughs> Haven't you heard the song? I say something, and then someone writes a fucking story about it on the internet. You ever seen this? And there was one the other day. It's like, Wrestling Pundit accuses John Cena of being a parody. And quite frankly, I did use that term, but like, I didn't use it in a negative way at all. I talked about how fucking awesome it is. And he's cutting the promo with the mic in his right hand, and he transfers the mic to his left hand and holds it out here, and Braun looks at the mic and Taker sucker punches him. <laughs> Just laugh my ass off of that. And he drops with that right hand, hits a big ass, a big ass choke slam. Braun Breaker got way up for that choke slam. And Taker declares there was always a bigger badass around the corner, and you just met the biggest badass of them all. That may have actually been my favorite part of the entire show. Undertaker is doing all that. He's pretty great. 1.6 million viewers between the two shows. There were more people watching these two shows than watched Raw. Wow. That's a win for wrestling. A fun night as always. We checked out. And how it goes. <laughs> 